Clay Prune, You Talk Funny by Gus Dapperton. We're in standard tuning, got a capo on our first fret. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you the chords first, and then we're going to learn how to play the progressions for the chorus, the pre-chorus, and the verse. So we're going to start out here learning the chords. We've got a B flat, that's our um, one of our bar chords. We've got a D minor, an A minor. We've got a C chord. We actually have an A minor 7 in there as well. Um, we have a C7 and an F. We also have a G minor. So there's a lot of chords there. Don't get too scared by that. Once we start breaking things down, you'll see it's not that bad. I'm going to go ahead and teach you those chords, though. So if you already know those chords, skip ahead in the video, but for now I'll be teaching those chords. For an A minor, your index is on the first fret of the, a st or the B string. Middle finger is on the second fret of your D string. Ring fingers on your second fret of your G. For your D minor, your index is on the first fret of the high E, middle is on the second fret of the G, ring fingers on the third fret of your B string. You play your D, G, B, E. Uh, C chord from your E from your A minor. All you're gonna do is you lift your ring finger and go to the third fret of the A string, and you're gonna play those five strings. See, we've got an F chord. We can teach that as an open chord. So your index is on the first fret of the B string, middle fingers on the second fret of the G, ring fingers on the third fret of the A, pinkies on the third fret of the D. Just play your A, D, G, B strings. And then for our B flat, we're gonna bar our first fret with our index finger from the fifth string down, and we're gonna have our in our ring finger play the or bar the D, G, B strings. And it's going to mute that high one. Or if you're a beginner, you can just play an A chord on your third fret and have your index finger on the first fret of the um, A string. Okay, so there's only one or two more chords here. We've got a G minor. You're going to bar your third fret, six, all six strings. Ring fingers on the fifth fret of the A ring finger, or your pinkies right under on the fifth fret of the D. If you're a beginner, you can just play those top three notes by having your index on the third fret of the low E. And finally, our last chord, we've got a C7. Okay, so you're gonna bar your third fret with your index finger, fifth string down, ring fingers on the fifth fret of the D, and your pinkies on the fifth fret of the B string. Okay, if you're a beginner, you can try this way. You can try to put your middle finger, or actually do your index finger, on the third fret of the G string, ring finger on the fifth fret of the D string, and your pinky on the fifth fret of the B, and just play those three strings. Okay, so there's a lot of chords there, but like I said, we're gonna jump right into it here, and you're gonna see it's not that bad. <coughs> um, so for the verse, it sounds like this. Okay, so we're starting out on that B flat, down, down, up, up, down, up, to our A minor, down, down, up, C, down, down, up, D minor, down, down, up. B flat. We're going to do this three more times. Two more times. Nice and slow here. same strumming pattern. So down, down, up, up, down, up. We're going to go to the C7 chord. Same strumming to our F chord. To our A minor. 
minor chord. So D minor, C7, F, A minor. Do this two more times. So for the chorus, we have a B flat. Play that twice. D minor. Actually, you don't play that B flat twice, you just play it once. So down, down, up, up, down, up to our D minor. Down, down, up to our A minor. And you stay on the A minor for two bars. So B flat. to the verse, which sounds like this, and we already know this. Okay, so those are the three parts of the song I'm teaching. I went through it all quickly. There's a lot of chords in there, so I understand if you have questions, just go ahead and comment below. Um, if you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.